love how communicative and stuff you guys are. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, uh, quick little thing, man. I kind of wanted to do like a little top five tips for you guys, for streamers, YouTube's content creators, because a, a lot of you guys are sticking through it. So, um, I kind of just wanted to do that and see, you know, see what we're doing. So, this basically is going to be a huge breakdown of how I grew so fast. I haven't been streaming on Twitch for very long. I haven't even hit my seventh unique stream and it's barely been a month. People ask me all the time, hey, you know, do you have any tips? How do I average higher viewership? How do, what do I do? How do I grow like you did? Okay, I'm gonna give you guys like a, some top five tips here since you guys are sticking through this. I'm gonna give you a little insight on what happened with me, what's going on right now, and why the channel is doing so well. For number five, be yourself, be creative, try and be original. So when you're making content, you have to like figure out a way to get your, your viewers like intrigued. They have to be like, they have to be taken back by you. They have to go like, oh, whoa, who's, who's this person? I wanna know this person more. So you gotta be unique in some other way. How I did that, the costume, obviously. The costume is a big thing. It's a big play in my, uh, in my content. It's a part of my content. It's a part of me as a person. So when I make these things, the content that I create is all about me. It's about me. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the head here. So you have to be sure to create some kind of diversity and some uniqueness to your channel because you can't be just like everybody else, you know, just. Oh, hey, thanks for the follow. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, guys, uh, support me until I get to affiliate, please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure you tech too. Yeah. No, don't be like that. Don't be like that. Be engaging care about your viewers, care about the content that you put out, care about who you're showing your content to. At the end of the day, the viewers are gonna be the people who make your channel grow. You have to make them feel special. Tip number four, do not focus on the quality of the gear, focus on the quality of your content. So this, okay, sure. It's really nice to have a really fancy camera, a really fancy mic, to have the best PC, the best, you know, the best, the console, the best controller, the best this, best that. But at the end of the day, I have never seen anybody follow me and go, hey, I really like your camera quality. And mine's not even perfect. You know, I've never had anybody message me and be like, hey, I love your mic. I'm going to follow you. They follow me because they enjoy the content that I produce. They enjoy me, my personality, and uh, what I'm what I'm giving out back to them. Tip number three, don't do follow for follow or likes for likes or shout out for shout out. They don't work. Let's say I approach you and I'm like, hey, follow for follow, right? Me and you, we both just gained a useless follower. And I don't mean useless as in, you know, less important or anything like that. All followers are important, and especially you guys. You guys are all important to me. You, I love all of you. But they're not following you because they enjoy your content. They enjoy you. They're following you because they're getting a benefit from it. It's like a charity. So when you're doing a stream and you have over 2,000 followers and you're only averaging like five viewers and you're wondering and telling yourself, hey, like, why the hell am I not getting the viewership I want? That's your reason right there. You're doing follow for follow. All your followers are not doing it because they enjoy your content, they're doing it because they are getting something from you. Tip number two, branch off your knowledge. Be willing to learn, be willing to fail, and be willing to accept that you fail, your, con your first concept failed, and chuck it, and then start fresh. Grind in a smart way, a smart way. There's a, there's, there's a difference between like grinding in, in something that's not gonna work, and something that's pointless to grind in, and versus grinding and you're doing a good thing. You know, like you, you need to make sure that your effort and your work is being put into the right areas. Like I said, don't focus on the quality of your stream, like, you know, overlays and fancy, all these fancy bells and whistles. No, don't do that. Focus on your content. Focus on the quality of your content. Make sure that your content is good. Because if your content's good, people don't give a shit about your follower count. People don't give a shit about fancy camera, your mic, or how cool your overlay is. It helps, it adds to it, but you don't need all that. Always, always, always remember to put your effort in the right areas. And like I said, be willing to fail. Be willing to admit that you failed, because it's gonna happen. This isn't my first try at this. You know, it's like my second or third try in the internet world. I try, we try, me and my uh, best friends try to do like a kind of like a group vlog thing. Didn't work out, we chucked it. I try to do my own personal thing. I wasn't unique and I saw that people, I was just another dude playing Call of Duty and I was like, dude, like I gotta change something. I gotta do something different. My number one reason for growth, the number one way to grow on Twitch, the, the number one way, and the number one way to grow in general, but mainly for Twitch. If you wanna make this your career, 
and you want to grow as fast as I'm growing, which I'm very thankful for. I'm, I'm very fortunate and very lucky to have all this growth and I love all of you for it. But if you want that growth that you're seeing from me, I have people messaging me, hey, how do I grow? Do not stream every single day, eight hours every day. Don't do it. I'm telling you right now, I gain more followers when I'm not streaming versus when I'm actually streaming. When I turn this stream off, I start to get more followers. Don't, don't ask me how that works, but this is just, again, personal data. This is my analytics. I gain more followers not streaming. You wanna know how my stream platform and stuff is pot and my YouTube is getting subscribers and followers? TikTok. I got almost 80,000 followers on TikTok right now. Fuck yeah. <laughs> You need to branch off. Twitch does not have an algorithm system. They don't push your channel up. Whereas YouTube and TikTok don't care how small your channel is. As long as your content's good and people like it, they will follow and they will subscribe. And then YouTube, TikTok and stuff, they'll go, hey, this person liked and commented and shared the video. This video is good. Let's push it to more. You know, let's send it to 10 people now, 25 people, 50 people, 100 people, 200 people, 1,000, 3,000. It can blow up. The reason why I'm at where I'm at is because one of my TikTok videos blew up and ever since then I've been getting more traffic, more eyes, and more and more people have been following in. I have some people saying in my chat, you know, like, man, she found me before I was at even at 20k followers. So that wasn't too long ago. That was like, what, a week ago on TikTok? And again, it's not that streaming is bad. If you want to start streaming, I would stream once a week. Once a week. Focus on the quality of your content. Plan out your stream. Plan out what you're going to play plan out what you're gonna try and say and have some backup questions for your chat. Make sure your chat's being interactive with one another, but branch off and do other forms of content, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, uh, Discord, TikTok. Those have such great algorithms, especially TikTok. I actually, I'm actually not a huge fan of TikTok. I don't like the dance videos and stuff like that that I see, but it has some funny stuff time to time. There are some creators that are actually hilarious and I follow them, but you need to make sure that you are branching off and you're not limiting yourself to just Twitch because you're not going to grow. You're not going to grow fat. You're going to grow. You, you're going to grow. If you're, if you have good quality content and you're getting a follower or two every, every day, you know, that's good. That's good. You're averaging five, 10 viewers. That's good. That's awesome. But if you want to make this a full-time career and actually start achieving those goals and getting onto that higher level, you need to focus and make content. I stopped streaming for like four or five months before my TikTok started to blow up. It took me four or five months to get to around 1800 followers, which is pretty damn good. That was like, you know, a follower. That was like five or 10 followers almost every day. But I had small little goals that I could control. I'm gonna post three times a day on TikTok and I have a full-time job. So I was doing that. Now I'm doing this. I stopped making YouTube videos. I stopped streaming because I didn't have the time to focus and make good quality content. I was wasting all my time. So again, put your work in the right areas. I wasn't getting any viewers on my first ever stream. I had zero viewers throughout the entire stream. Nobody watched, nobody cared about me. Nobody knew who I was. And that's how the internet is. They don't care. So remember that, remember that. Branch off, be creative, go do something new, do something different, whether it's your gameplay, how you game, anything like that, or just like me, put on a costume, man. People love the costume. And I'm glad, I'm happy. This is, this is, this is, I'm so happy that you guys like the outfit. Those are my top five tips for you guys. Remember to follow me on Twitch. Remember to follow me on Instagram and uh, TikTok. Skipsomaniac on Instagram and TikTok. And then Skipso on Twitch. I'll have the links down in the section below. See you guys in the next video.